Alice Gamby is an entrepreneur who sells refreshments in her own shopping mall kiosk. She is also a devoted and active grandmother who became concerned when debilitating pain in her knee prevented her from playing with her beloved grandchildren. I have four little grandkids and I hate not doing things with them. I mean, we run through the house and play tag and I love to do that. I go bowling with them, I do a lot of things with them and I don't, you know, they were always like, Grandma, are you okay? Is your knee okay? Alice Gamby suffered from severe arthritis in her knees. Arthritis is a breakdown in the cartilage which cushions the bones in a joint. I'd have a lot of pain. I could never bend it. Um, and then it got to the point where it was um, bone on bone, so I'd just be standing there and I would feel like it was just giving out and I'd fall. So she went to see doctors Mark Quarterwitz and Ron Letterman, orthopedic surgeons at the Detroit Medical Center's Huron Valley Sinai Hospital. Dr. Quarterwitz and Dr. Letterman are the first surgeons in Michigan to use the Conformis IUNI Partial Knee Replacement System, a new technique which allows them to implant certain custom-made parts rather than replacing the entire joint with an artificial knee. You are only removing the cartilage from the area where you have significant arthritis and replacing it with a custom component. You are making only one small cut on the femur, on the thigh bone, no bigger than a vanilla wafer, and making one small cut on the top of the shin bone, the tibia. And that's it. And you maintain the normal cartilage and anatomy of the rest of the knee. So essentially you have two thirds of a normal knee and only replacing the diseased part of the knee. To make this amazing breakthrough possible, doctors use a CT scan and special software to determine the exact normal shape and alignment of a patient's knee. Computer software is then used to make customized parts that replace the damaged cartilage. The software also creates customized jigs or templates which help the surgeon prepare the bone ends for perfect placement of the customized components. Using this technique where appropriate means less trauma for the patient, and this is key much more of the bone is preserved than with the traditional total joint replacement. I think that the logistics behind having a partial knee replacement where you are taking less bone, making a smaller incision, having less bleeding, will allow a patient to have a quicker rehab, a faster recovery, and less pain. By doing a resurfacing, you are maintaining the ligaments, you are maintaining the normal kinematics of a normal joint instead of simply putting in a cookie cutter off the shelf, one size fits all implant. Melody Borgie is another of doctors Quarterwitz and Letterman's patients. She had a total joint replacement on her right knee two years ago, and now she's recently had the new partial process on her left knee. In your particular case, here's the knee that you had, the full traditional knee replacement. Okay. And here was this custom uh, knee resurfacing, uh, the implant that was made just for your knee, wow. and, and the way it fits perfectly, and you can see the difference in the size. Oh, yeah. Having had both kinds of implants, Melanie Borgie has experienced the difference firsthand. She told me about her full knee replacement two years ago. Had more pain with it and longer. My reflexes or my um, movement of my leg wasn't as good as the, the partial knee replacement. As we followed Alice Gamby's surgery, it was clear from the doctor's reaction what a significant breakthrough partial knee replacement is. That is incredible motion, incredible flexion, and again, We've maintained her normal alignment, all of her normal ligaments. As we talked about yesterday, the normal kinematics. This, this knee's gonna feel much more normal to her than a, a knee replacement. It'll feel more like her knee. Two weeks after surgery, she was already back at work and her recovery was progressing well. It's so worth it because I'm gonna have a new knee. I'll be able to go golfing and not worry about having to take a cart because I can't walk the whole time and do the things with my grandkids that I want to do. This partial replacement technology is expected to last the same 15 to 25 years as a conventional knee replacement, or maybe a bit longer. And while the technology has only been available a short time, doctors Quarterwitz and Letterman are already confident 
that it is making a difference. You two seem uh, extremely excited about doing this. Talk about what it means to you to have this technology to be able to do anything like this. Oh, I think it's going to be a fantastic, new, exciting um, knee replacement for patients where they, I think, one, they're going to have a faster recovery and be more active. And um, in the long run, I think it's just going to help everyone. The DMC's Huron Valley Sinai Hospital is currently the only facility in Michigan performing this cutting edge technique. Another example of our commitment to bring in the latest technology to improve the health and quality of life of our patients. Visit us here at dmc.org for more information on partial knee replacement or to make an appointment with Dr. Mark Portowitz or Dr. Ron Letterman. The DMC, we just think it's a better way to get better. I'm Emory King.